Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're gonna go through the steps on how to create a thin provisioned LUN on an EMC VNX. So we've got our EMC VNX unit right here. This particular one is a, well, this is a simulator, VNX simulator. So we can go ahead and actually create a thin provision LUN. So first thing we wanna do is we wanna go into the storage tab on the top and you're presented here with LUNs and a few other options, okay? Now LUN is obviously for block level, so you can go in ahead and assign that LUN to a particular pool and to a storage group, which we'll go through on another video, and then share it with your uh, VMware environment, for example. So in here, we wanna click on the Create tab down the bottom. You'll be presented with this option set here. So this is a few things that you can do. now. You need to create to create a LUN. You need to what's no. You need to have what's called a storage pool. Okay. So I do have another video on how to create a storage pool. But in order to be able to create a LUN, you need to assign it to a particular storage pool. You can also just go new and create one straight from here if you want to. What is the uh, the sort of RAID type? So we're having as mixed because this storage pool has been defined that way. Are you going to have it as a pool or as a RAID? Okay. If you select RAID, once that shows up, you can go ahead and actually customize it more specifically. RAID 0, RAID 10, RAID 5, RAID 6, or you can assign it as a hot spare. Okay, we're going to leave it as a pool because I like pools better than RAID groups for VNX storage. Okay, so to create a thin one, you've got an option here, thin. Tick that. Nice and easy. Tick that to create it thin. Create your LUN. Let's just go, let's give it a different number. 300 gig. What LUN ID do you want to give it? You can give it any number. It's just more just for uh, you keeping track if you need to and for knowing what uh, LUNs, um, what the ID is of the LUNs if you want to track them down. How many LUNs do you want to create? So it's a cool feature. You can actually create more than one at the same time. You don't have to create uh, one and then go back into this menu, create the second one, and then go back in, etc. I can actually go in ahead and create three straight from here. Three LUNs of 300 gig. I can give it a name. Test LUN. And I can create a starting ID for it. So I'm going to say one. Or I can automatically assign LUN IDs as LUN names. So by having this called test LUN 1, it's going to create three LUNs. It'll call it test LUN 1, test LUN 2, test LUN 3, thin provision, 300 gig, okay? In here, you can assign it to a particular storage processor, or you can let the VNX automatically assign it as it needs. And there's also this fast setting as well. So if, if your SAN has multiple speed of disks, faster disks, slower disks, etc., you can assign this thing called tiering where it's automatically going to assign it to a fast or to a slow disk as it needs. And also have an option here to automatically delete old snapshots if need be. Okay, 300 gig, let's just go ahead and say apply to this. So it's gonna go ahead and create those LUNs. It's gonna assign those LUNs into the storage pool zero. Okay, and it's gonna be mixed mode. Okay. And as you'll see, we now have test LUN 1, test LUN 2, and test LUN 3. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for a whole bunch of more videos.